Now, simple, our next point is in case of generic area buffering, we need to pass the number of key fields. Yes, you are loading the records into the buffer. It means you need to define the key fields for the generic area buffering. Just see, for example, when we took this example, these two are the part of generic key. So we need to define the number of key fields for generic area buffering. So in our this example, these two are acting as a generic key. Now just see our current example. See our current example. If I want to load these two records into the into the buffer of our application layer, just check how many key fields we need to pass. We need to pass this also. We need to pass this also. We cannot go for this. If we will pass these three, it means we are going for single record buffering because based upon this full, if you are giving language also, if you are giving product ID, so in that case, what will happen? It will act as a single record buffering. I want these two records into the buffer. These two records, these two records are for English language. So what or how many generic key fields we need to pass? What are the number of key fields for the generic area buffering? I need to pass this. I need to pass this. So what is the number of key fields for generic area buffering in our current scenarios? Two, two. You cannot go for third one. If you will pass all three, it will become a single record buffering. So in our current scenario, what is the number of key fields for the generic area buffering? In our case, it is two. It is two. Now we will go for last, most, most important point. The number of key fields for a generic area buffering is less than the primary keys of the table. Most, most important point. Suppose, see this current example. Table has how many primary keys? If we will include MA and DT, table has three primary keys. If you will pass all the three conditions, if you will go for all the three conditions, it means what? It is a single record buffering because based upon your key, single record is coming. Now we do not want single record. We want all the records of the language. So table has three primary keys. But how many generic key we need to pass if we want all the records of a language to two? So table has three primary keys. The number of key fields for the generic area buffering in current scenario is what? Two. So what is the conclusion? If in case of generic area buffering, number of key fields is always less than the primary keys of the table. Always less. If a table has five primary keys, the number of key fields for the generic area buffering can be four, can be three, can be two, can be one, but it can never, never equal to five. Because if you will pass all the five, it means you are getting a single record. So it is single record buffering. So the number of key fields for the generic area buffering is always, always less than the primary key of the table. And most important point, never, never forgot to consider MA and DT also whenever you are going for generic area buffering. In case of generic area buffering, take MA and DT also into consideration. So in our current example, we have table has three primary keys. 
but if I want all the records of a particular language, so how many key or how many key fields I need to pass for generic area buffering to. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with generic area buffering. In case of generic area buffering, the records which are matching the generic key will load into the buffer. And yes, this is real project requirement because many times single record buffering means single record will come into the buffer. Full record buffering, full data will come into the buffer. If I want to load only specific records into the buffer, then I need to define, I need to go for generic area buffering. So records which are matching the generic key will load into the buffer. So now then after that, we took the example. We are passing all the three where condition. That's not a concern. Single record will display. But how many key fields we define for the generic area buffering to MA and DT and CAR ID. So records which are matching 001 and LH, all those records will load into the buffer. After that, we covered the best example where we need to go for generic area buffering is language dependent table. Because whenever you are going for language dependent tables, you do not want the data of all the languages. You only want that data which is required in which particular language you logged in. So we took the example of this table. In our current example, we want the data of English language only. If I will go for single record buffering, either this record will come in the buffer or this record will come in the buffer at a time, at a time, yes. If I will go for full record buffering, full data will come in the buffer, but I want that data of English language only in the buffer. So definitely I want to go for generic area buffering. Now to load these two records into the buffer, into the buffer, we need to define the generic key. Yes. So how many fields are required for the generic key? We need to pass the number of key fields. If I will go for all three, if I will go for all three, I will get a single record. So I cannot go for all three. I need to go for these two only. If I will go for these two, so I will get this record also. I will get this record also into the buffer. Then we come on to the conclusion that the number of key fields for a generic area buffering is less than the primary key of the table. Because if you will pass all the primary keys, if the number of key fields for a generic area buffering is equal to primary keys, then it is single record buffering because you are passing the complete key. So yes, the number of key fields for the generic area buffering is always, always less than the primary key of the table. Always less. If table has five primary keys, the number of key fields for generic area buffering can be four, can be three, can be two, can be one, but it can never, never be equal to five. And last, whenever you are going for generic area buffering, whenever you are defining the key fields for the generic area buffering, take MA and DT also as a key field at that point of time. In next video, we will see the practical where we will give number of key fields for the generic area buffering and we will do the practical for the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.